If you love spaghetti but are trying to avoid all of the carbs that come with pasta, this is the dish for you. We're gonna use spaghetti squash. This is particularly great in the summer months when this is in season. So we're gonna take two spaghetti squash and we're gonna cut them in half. Be very careful, get a really sharp knife and you wanna cut it as evenly down the middle as you can. I'm strong, I swear. So now you see all this gunk inside, you don't want that. So take your squash and you're gonna scrape out all that seeds and the guts that are inside of it. Just try to get all the really stringy bits too. You don't have to make it too pretty because after we bake this, we're gonna shred it all up anyway. So don't worry if it looks a bit funky on the inside. It's not gonna matter in the end. So as soon as you have emptied out all of those, what we're gonna do is just very, very lightly season the inside with just a little bit of salt. And this is just gonna help to bring out the juices and help it to cook a little bit more even and fast. And then we're gonna lay these out onto baking sheets. A baking dish works for this as well. And we're gonna put them cut side down. And we are just gonna pour a little bit of water inside the pan. So there's about a quarter of an inch in the pan. And this is gonna help it steam inside the pan. We're gonna cook this inside the oven at 400 degrees for about 45 minutes. We're gonna flip those around halfway through. So while that squash is baking inside the oven, we're gonna make a quick bolognese sauce. Get your pan up to the right temperature to cook. This is how you know it's at the right temperature. Take a little bit of broth or water and just splash the pan. And you're gonna see these little balls dance around and form and they're gonna join into one massive mega ball. And that's how you know it's the right temperature. So we're gonna throw in a diced onion, two or three cloves of garlic, depending on how much you like your garlic. And because we wanna make this quick, I'm also gonna throw in the mushrooms. They release water for you, so you don't need oil here. We don't wanna leave that too long. We're just gonna let this really quickly cook. Now I'm gonna add in about four stalks of celery diced, one carrot diced, and then we're just gonna sweat that, but not for too long. And I'm gonna add just a little bit of vegetable broth, just to help. Oh, that's a happy sound. Oh, the smell's already coming. Yeah, we're just sweating these very delicately because they're gonna cook even more in a second when we boil these. I'm just gonna add a tablespoon of Italian seasoning. If you don't have Italian seasoning, you could use one teaspoon each of oregano, basil, garlic powder, or you could swap in some marjoram or thyme. It's pretty, it's pretty flexible with what you use in here. We're gonna use our cooking liquid, which is just one 28 ounce can of diced tomatoes with the liquid. The liquid's the important part because that's what's gonna help our lentils cook. So we're gonna add in a cup and a half of red lentils. These will turn down into a mush. So we're gonna plop those in and just stir them up and get this mixture to a boil. We're just gonna flatten down the mixture so that the lentils are at least even with the rest of it. And we're gonna bring it down to a simmer temperature and cover it for about 20 minutes. So once that squash is finished cooking, we're just gonna take a fork and we are just gonna grate it like this. And it just creates these wonderful strands. And this is why it's called spaghetti squash. Cause you can see how those little strands look just like spaghetti. And you're just gonna go around and you're just gonna keep on doing this until you get as much as you can off the sides. And the nice thing is that the spaghetti squash has such a tough skin that you can really, really get in there and scrape with a fork and you're not gonna have much worry about breaking through it. Now all you have to do is spoon on that delicious bolognese sauce. Put on a nice healthy portion of it. If you wanna get extra fancy, you could sprinkle this with breadcrumbs or some kind of a plant-based cheese, but I'm just gonna have this as is. And here's my favorite part about this dish. It doesn't need a bowl. The squash is the bowl. It's so good. It doesn't have the same texture as spaghetti, 
but it's really, really close, and it does beautiful things when you mix it with that bolognese. And what's great about this, this looks like a huge portion, but this is a fraction of the calories you would have in a pasta dish. Spaghetti was my favorite thing as a kid, and this makes five-year-old Jeremy very, very happy.